Hey guys, we are at Reykjavik Airport, about to fly with Iceland there to AVA Stavir. Very exciting. It's an incredibly beautiful area. We're gonna be exploring East Fjords, and of course, we're taking you guys with us. Let's go. Welcome to Egilstaða Flugvöllur, Egilstaðir Airport. We're gonna be here in the area for five days, exploring so many things that you can do here. Currently, it is raining, but it's always sunny in the east of Iceland. So just you wait, it's gonna clear up, sure of that. We're going to um, Vinland, it's a farm. And one of the things that the East Fjords of Iceland is known for is there are reindeers here, wild reindeers. We're gonna go and say hello to them. I actually heard they're uh, having a bit of a horny time now, so uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. Arrived at the reindeer park in Vinland. It's a six minute drive from the airport, just around the corner. See them. Yeah, they're here. Obviously preparing for Christmas season. They're doing their intense training here to be fit, to be able to fly Santa all over the place in Iceland on Christmas. I think this is how you speak to them. So we just met the reindeers. I think their names are Karpur and Mosi. They're teenagers now. The story about them is pretty fascinating because the farmers there found them in the middle of nowhere, literally saved them. They were tiny little babies, a very, very bad condition. So the only thing to do was to save their lives. They took them in their backpacks on their snowmobiles, brought them here, took care of them. A couple of times, one of them was really close to dying. The reason why they're still there is because they have been raised in a farm by people. It is actually not safe to put them in the nature to be wild again. So important information that they are safe there. This is the only way they're gonna continue living their lives. And it's a very, very big farm, so they're gonna have a very good life there. A restaurant with a Michelin chef? Yes, please. Look at that. Looks like a Michelin star restaurant chef did this. Oh, well, actually he did. Let me try that. For the love of God. It's my new best friend here, the Michelin star chef. Wow, what a man. <laughs> We are in Borkafjörður Eystri and we're standing in front of a very old house that a relative of mine used to own. Uh, so I came here a couple of times as a young child and I played here, drank, I don't know, water probably. <laughs> But it's beautiful. Charming little house, built in 1899. I know that because I just saw it on the sign over there. Were people smaller in the past? I don't even fit through that door. Beautiful. I am putting layers on because it's freezing cold. Why be cold when you don't have to be cold? First layer, very important. Second layer, very important. Going biking with Altni in Borgafjörður Eystri from the Fjord Bikes. Apparently there are a lot of cool ways to ride bikes here in the area. I brought my helmet, actually my snowboard helmet. We've got bikes in the back and we're gonna do something really, really cool. Last time I went biking, I did this and it looked amazing, so... So, let's get ready. Bike up this mountain uh, that's called um, Svartet. Off we go. So we're staying at Blaubjörg Resort. We just came from the bike ride. There is a very, very nice spa here, so you don't have to tell me twice to check out the spa. Nice. Oh my God. I wish you guys could see the views, but I guess you just have to come here and experience it. My job is not only fun and games, guys. You know, I can't be just going to spas and bicycling. It's also very hard work. That's why I'm here to taste beer. <laughs> very big surprise. 
Ja. Ja. hier in Borgerfjörður Estri. Borgarfjörður Estri. It's a village with 80 or 90 people. There is one kid in the kindergarten. There's four kids in the elementary school. There's no hospital. But they do have a brewery and a fairly good one. Mm. Why not? <laughs> <laughs>